struggle was in the Vietnam War. He told me that this country does not fairly pay people based on their military service. But he told me to join the post office, and I thought that based off this contract, it was funny that it's even worse than what I think the soldiers go through in the military. We got another caller from an 860 area code. 860 area code. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, how's it going? My name is Tariq. Um, by way, I'm by way a carrier from Hartford, Connecticut, and now currently living in Los Angeles. Um, Tariq I'm in also Los a Angeles. CCA. You're yes, in. Uh, you're I'm also, also in. DC. Also a CCA. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. So what's what's on your mind? Yes. Just for just for clarification. Um, I, I went over the tentative agreement multiple times. Um, for me, for one, for one, I came to the post office as someone using it as a last resort at the time for, for just for context. My grandfather was a city carrier since the seventies. My, my father was a rural carrier at one point in time. So I have a legacy of, of carriers, um, in my legacy and my lineage. Correct. So mm -hmm. for me, when I see how today in today's standards where we deal with the concept of a CCA still existing. We don't have an all-career workforce and things like that. It really irks me because, for example, like yesterday, I didn't. Even, I was supposed to work today, and I didn't get to because I started feeling sharp pains in my back from all mm -hmm. the constant works that we've been doing. Doing, for example, right now, this past week, I had 55 hours work hours and about almost nine hours of penalty time. It sounds fine and good when you're making the money, but when you think about the health involved with it as well as the fact of the matter of being someone that constantly has to be the one running in and out in and out in and out to help other people and, and the people that aren't trying to be sufficient enough to do the job as well as mostly mostly pertains to management and they treat us so badly it makes you wonder how could Renfro actually say this is a great deal for us or other other carriers for that matter um and, and then they wonder why the retention rate isn't as good as it should be and it makes you makes you really decide whether or not like is it really worth it? Um, like me, I I came as a last resort. I was a college student. I graduated from college. The job market isn't the best, and I went to the post office as a last resort. And mm -hmm. for me to see it, that it not actually be worthwhile in terms of like my physical condition, despite the fact that I'm a great worker, and management constantly says that I'm not. I have an attitude about it, despite the mm -hmm. fact that I tell them, you know. As an individual, I see I see the pitfalls behind everything, and I see like for example, my my uh, management team over here in Los Angeles, like they they abuse me in the sense of not allowing me to have my uh, religious time. For me, mm -hmm. they don't allow me to have my um help me go to my other job. I told them that in advance. I told them that's one of them to acknowledge these things and like just so we can have a a set schedule for myself. They said no. Instead, they want to go along with similarly to what the, what the program is or what this uh, tentative agreement is. And it makes you wonder, like, if I feel this way, how I know there's other carriers that feel the same way. But I think that for being a CCA in particular, like, this position needs to be abolished completely. And the fact that it wasn't and you only get a half a dollar raise is insane. And like I said, where I came from in Hartford, like, Hartford was just, is just as expensive as Los Angeles, contrary to popular belief. So for me, I just look at it as, you know, this is a real slap in the face to all of us for that matter. And I believe that for us to continue to deal with that and it go and this is a, this is an all carrier situation, in my opinion. Mm. I mean, I know there's some people that are maybe at the top that doesn't really affect. But at the end of the day, we are still together as one if we're in this union together. So for us to not have that level of camaraderie or we need to have this level of camaraderie now, which is perfect. I think that this is the time to do that. I think it's really distasteful that this is the tentative agreement that we have. Hmm. Tariq, thanks for your call. Appreciate it. No problem. Caller from a 562 area code. 562 area code. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, man. SoCal, Branch 1100. SoCal, uh, caller from SoCal. Uh, what's on your mind? Uh, I just wanted to say, Step progressions over the course of the contract does not equal a new raise provided by a new contract. Like how Renfro and his business agents are trying to swing this thing, saying we're getting a 25% increase of a raise by the end of the contract. And also, the colas, they're not one-to-one -one with inflation. You're only getting a percentage of inflation, and only the top 
step carriers get the full colas. Everyone else gets diet colas, which is even smaller percentage than that. Mm. Right. Yeah. And we talked about. I'm just going to try to break this down really quick. Oh, no. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we we mentioned uh I uh you know because when he said that about 25%, I wanted to make sure that I understood and 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 he did confirm that yeah, it's not it's not a, you know, people at the bottom are getting a 25% general wage increase. He he did confirm that yeah, I'm counting the steps in there and and you know, so uh I think some people uh don't really uh agree with counting the steps. I think that I would probably be part of those but you know uh but we did make sure that that was that was clarified and so uh but yeah you had something else to say yeah and then he he took two steps off from the beginning but didn't move everyone else two steps Mm. so the new starting step is c you're gonna Mm -hmm. have carriers who put in two years already making the same as someone who recently turns regular which Mm -hmm. I mean, if we're looking at the grand scheme of things, he didn't keep it fair for everybody. Mm. Gotcha. Caller from SoCal, appreciate and your call. And then just being in... Oh, okay, I'm thank sorry, you, you had... Real quick. Okay, I was just, I was just going to break it down. I'm a step B carrier who's going to move who's gonna move to C. In SoCal, I mean, the prices of things here are crazy. Mm. I'd be going from $23 now to $25, which we waited 20 months for this contract and it, 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 and my insurance is going up. I'm not even going to see that $2 raise. And that's all I have to say. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks for the call. Hey, five seconds. Just wanted to say that this is only possible because of our donors. If you want to see more of this, then consider donating yourself at tvlr.fm slash donate. Caller from a 615 area code. 615 area code. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, I'm Michael Womack. I'm calling from Nashville. Mike from Nashville. What's on your mind? Yes, sir. Um, I would just like to say that I have emailed his NALC email address. I've called the hall in D.C. and I've still got no response. And even just, I understand this is a bad contract, you know, however you want to look at it. And I just think I've messaged him on social media. He's deleted all of his social media. What is he hiding from? Like, can we just get some form of communication other than being dodgy and double speak? And that's really the only thing I want. Now, if he genuinely believes this is a fair contract, I get it. But with all the negative backlash i would just like some kind of reinsurance like even an automatic email back and that's really all i need to get off my chest Mm. yeah um yeah appreciate the call hopefully have you uh, were were you able to actually um have you been listening since we since we started the the interview do you feel like even if even if you know you felt like some of the the, some of the questions or some of the answers to the questions maybe weren't what you would have wanted to hear or you felt like you know uh, I don't know, but but do you feel do you feel like the interview was um, valuable? If you were able to listen, uh, yes, yes, one hundred percent. But the the problem I have with it is, if I'm going to be you know, and other men, union members are going to be paying these dues, why can't mm-hmm. I get a direct response mm-hmm. instead of a dodgy response? What is why can't we have some? I know we're working towards open bargaining and a couple other things too, but I would just like some kind of response. Other than I have to receive these notifications from other coworkers, mm. you know, like, hey, he's going to be here. He's going to be here. Why can't we just get something going? Some kind of communication, I feel like, is key in this moment. <laughs> gotcha. Appreciate the call. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Caller from a 609 area code. 609 area code. Uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, okay. Six, six oh nine drops. So three one seven area code. Three one seven area code. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, yeah, I'd like to keep it private. Actually, I don't really want everybody sure. to know where I'm calling from. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I'd just like to say, you know, I'm a career carrier, and I've been with the post office now for just under a year. I decided to come to the post office, leaving the industry of uh, logistics. I came here because, you know, I, I knew that the agreement was in, in uh, 
you know, in con- it was in negotiations and I knew that, you know, hopefully we would be getting better pay and better raise. Um, you know, and like I said, coming from the industry that I was in, it, uh, you know, I thought, I thought it was a smart move. However, you know, over the past year, looking at things, you know, if they're only, if, the, if, if this guy really thinks like giving a dollar, dollar fifty raise is really going to be compensatable and is going to be able to get everybody through these times, you know, I, he, he's out of his mind. It, that's my personal opinion about it. Mm. Appreciate your call. Thanks. Thank you. 570 area code 570. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Brandon. Um, I, I'm calling from Branch 500 here in Pennsylvania. Um, just to kind of reiterate what a lot of people have said, you know, with guys like JH and uh, Corey Walton, and even some some of them that uh, have podcasts out there, like you know the Angry Mailman and stuff. Um, being here for nine years and being told, hey, it's gonna, we're going to get one pay scale. This is going to you know benefit the carriers who worked through COVID you know, did the brunt of Amazon when we first got to Amazon. Then when you see this, um, carriers are going to be going, like carriers that convert to PCF are going to make exactly what I'm making right now. Uh, Mm. It is a kick in the face. I can't imagine anybody wanting to vote for this. I'm not telling anybody how to vote, but if you care about your future, uh, I just hope people stand in solidarity with us and uh, continue to fight back about, about against this president. I don't think he cares about us. Uh, and he's, he's shown that time and time again. Mm. Appreciate the call. Thanks. No, thank you for having me on. Yep. 916 area code. 916 area code. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Nine one six. Can you hear us? Hi, my name is Charles from uh, San Francisco. Charles from San Francisco. What's on your mind? Uh, I just wanted to say um, I joined the post office. Um, my uncle, my uncle was in the Vietnam War, and he told me that uh, this country does not fairly. Um, pay people for their service based on their military service mm. he told me to join the post office and i thought that uh based off this contract it was funny that it's even worse uh what i've dealt with in the two years that i've been with the post office than what i think the soldiers go through in the military um yeah i just wanted to share that opinion <laughs> yeah appreciate the call charles thank you You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project. And you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. 